Hello, I don't think it's really 12th vlogs, but I think it's a continue of 11th. So if you didn't see the previous videos, click here and watch it. But if you saw it already, enjoy watching this one. Where I am, I have absolutely no idea, but I drove maybe a 200 or one and a half uh, kilometers and uh, I arrived here. Why? Because uh, on the way to the, um, to the meeting with Pauline and her husband, I make little pins on the map where I want to stay. So see the nature, you know, check something out, see the beautiful river, etc. And now is the first step. Now we will look around what there is. Um, what do they have over here to understand? The very weird looking building over here. So I will show you that all. We'll see. That's my first step. Finally, now we are going to use my helmet. Look, look how beautiful I did. Beautiful. It's so stylish, I guess. <laughs> Let's check out the mom. I wanted to show you a very beautiful nature. <gasps> Look at the flower. Wow. You know what? The problem is that I can't see anything. I can, but not what up under my feet. <gasps> this is a boat. The water is so clean. Why the boat is over here? Don't forget about your tripods when you're living. never believe a picture in the internet because i went to this place and i thought that here is a lot of um a river you know a lot of different boats you know with this beautiful bench which look at the whole river i thought uh, the man on the youtube it's a russian guy he calls like a clean man and they just say the the dude being anonymous cleaned the whole moscow almost himself and i think he posted a video and he had a lot of people who did exact same in russia what is a fantastic and at one day in the same day they all come to the same place and uh, not just the same place they just talk i don't know how that work somebody want to shake my hand right now <laughs> but now it's a way cleaner i feel so good we have to help a little bit our nature let's try Go inside of the boat. Yes, Captain. Straight over here on the north. It makes sounds because air going out from the ground and it's like. I drove maybe like 300 to 350 kilometers and you know what I don't think that I would like to be a taxi driver or something like that because I have a headache right now you know I was so, I was very focused you know on the road and now I have a headache now I'm gonna wait for them and they will finally we'll meet up like after five months I want to have omelette and mista cheese and ham omelette potato chips salad that's what I want to eat I'm waiting for Polina when she will get out of uh, her shower. I'm not sure if you can hear me clearly because I am in the Figuera de Foz. Uh, it's a city, the small city next to the ocean. No, nothing much I can say about that. I just start my... Good morning world, I just woke up and uh, I realized that I have 
uh, like it hurts this place because the place every year is very cold and they don't have heaters and they have big windows so I think now I will drink this thing it's from Russia <coughs> now I think I will wake up I will go to the coffee I will eat a little bit and then today we with Pauline and her husband will go somewhere we'll check something or travel somewhere we'll see we'll just hang out together and I will show a little bit for them for it to go I don't know this place but anyway, <laughs> now we with Pauline and her husband will go to the Kaimbra. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure. I've never been over here. We'll see how beautiful it is. It's uh, uh, away from the uh, from the ocean, so it will be a little bit uh, better. By the way, look at my parking. It was the first parallel parking in my life. I'm extremely happy that I did this parking. I have never tried and it is what it is. We are in Kaimbra. We are going to go to the park. It's like a park with many houses inside and many Portuguese houses. Uh, and you can look at them. I saw that on the Google Maps, but I'm not sure how that will be in real life. <laughs> so now I'm staying in the, in a, almost the center of the city. And here is a very beautiful house. You can show. <laughs> show. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> I like it. Let's go. By the way, uh, Polina and her husband tried the first time the uh, very famous uh, Portuguese dessert. It's nata. It's a little container, you know, it looks like this. And inside of it, here is a lot of cream. But this cream looks like a piece of shit. And I tried and I didn't like it. But Polina said that it's six out of ten. But Polina's husband said, Oh, delicious. <laughs> Beautiful river. Yes. Would you like to jump in? Mm, no. Why? Here is shit everywhere. We went to this park with a mini sculpture, with mini houses, but unfortunately it's a little bit overpriced. It's like a 12 euro for one person. And we decided to go to find some electric uh, scooters, the 40 motor scooters, electric scooters, and drive around um, for a while in the Kaimbra, check something, um, some beautiful houses, go to the center of the city, and just enjoy, enjoy the weather, enjoy the country. We are next to a skate park. Now I'm going to ask a BMX a bicycle. Uh, there is one guy who is driving it and uh, I hope he will say yes. But for that, you have to have a one thing. Look at me what I'm going to do. Now we can try to ask about the bicycle. We with Pauline and her husband in a very fancy and lovely uh, Italian restaurant. Uh, we were talking about uh, uh, cars, penalty. It reminded me a story about my car. For new viewers, I uh, bought a car in Russia, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Classic. <laughs> very big car. And uh, I say all that because I decided to move to the Portugal. 
And the jokies that uh, I saw that a lot of time ago and uh, the people registered the car on their own names. But all the goddamn time I'm getting penalty for them. Penalty on my name. Police office do not work well. I wrote for them a very big essay, not a say, a very big uh, application about it's not my car anymore. I add a picture of a document, a, con a contract, and uh, they just cancel that. That's so weird. I have no idea how, how I'm going to fix that. But I'm going to drink tea and I don't give a shit because I'm not in Russia anymore. Good morning world, but actually it's not really good morning because uh, I woke up yesterday I got sick and I thought today it's going to be fine, it will be better than yesterday, but to be honest nothing changed, uh, I, ha I got more endless amount of my snots, unfortunately, they just, you know, when I can see they can just uh, go below on my lips and then over here, you know, oh, uh, so I'm trying to fix that as much as I can. Uh, I will not go on the street today because Polina and her husband say that I have to be at home and they will just walk by their self. And also I bought a COVID test because I want to know if it's a COVID, but I don't think that it is. So now we're going to check out if I have a COVID. Well, looks like I'm in a Chernobyl or something, you know. And here's an instruction how to use it. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's in the world? Oh, oh, this little thing should go there. Oh, I need to open that one. Oh. <coughs> and then spin that around. Indeed. And they say that I have to open this here to put it over here. Now I will go away from here and we'll be back on the like in 15 minutes. And they will be the first person who will know if I have a COVID or not. <sighs> Now I'm going to check if I have a COVID. <laughs> what do I mean? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> but thankfully, my dears, it's not a pregnancy test. Now it's the end of the first COVID day. I feel normal. Pretty weird. Just the snots in my nose uh, getting worse, and uh, uh, all the time they are just like you know the feeling like the nose bleeding. You know you can you can't control it and it's just going below. And that's what happened with my nose. Also have some pain maybe in my throat, but in another way I feel pretty good. So I don't have a fever. Thankfully, I'm not really like uh, a vegetable. I clearly understand that you can't get uh, you can't get uh, sick on time. You know, it's always bad. It's always bad for your health or uh, and other people uh, who are with you. But I think that I got sick in the um, in the right time. The COVID right now is not really powerful. I got the vaccine and everything is uh, is is pretty well. But only the thing which makes me upset that. Uh, I had a lot of plans what I'm going to film. I had uh, the uh, I had the pinks on the map where I want to go to film a lot, a lot, a lot of things. But I got a COVID and I can't go anywhere. 
And by the way, I didn't take any, uh, I didn't call to the, to the doctor. Somebody needed more than I do. Here is a lot of old people, like a very big amount of old people. And I think they needed more than I do. If I will actually die, maybe I will call them. The whole three days while I'm here, it was my setup. I streamed from it. It was so convenient and uh, the quality was pretty good. And it turns off only like once. <laughs> so it's making me feel so good. Now I'm going back home because this apartment is very cold. There is no heaters. And uh, how I'm going to get well from the COVID without heaters in a very cold apartment. So I'm driving back home. Yeah, it sucks. I have to throw the trash in the trash bin, but also I'm going to show you something very interesting. What I, <laughs> what I saw in my car. So, let's just, oi, oi. Let's just, oh. Look at the system, how it's work. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> now I'm going to show you something very, very interesting. Look here. But I don't give a shit. Look now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Super. Superb. Oh, the fucking birds. <laughs> now we're going to go back home drive three and a half hour on the not pay roads then we will go back home i will help them to make a bed because it's very problematic to do and to three person it will be fantastic so we will build a bed and i will rest a little bit i guess because i will be a little bit tired and i think in that moment my covid vlog will end thank you for watching see you in the next one